Hi everyone, if you want to know how I created this look, keep watching and I'll show you how. Hi everyone, I've done some stuff off camera because otherwise this video is going to be mega mega long. Um, but I'll just explain what I did, it's nothing that like you really need to see me do, it's stuff that I've showed you before. Um, apart from what I've done to my head. So what I did, I haven't got a ball cap or anything and I forgot to make one. Um, so what I've done is I've wrapped two layers of cling film around my head. Um, if you look, there you go. So I've got the, the bit at the back sticking up. Ah, there we go. And then what I did is I put a layer of latex over the top of the cling film, which meant then I could paint it with the face paints. So I waited for the latex to dry, which only took a couple of seconds, and then I painted it with a layer of white face paint. I've stuck on the two little prosthetic cuts that I showed you how to make in the sculpting the prosthetics video for the Twisted the Clown series. And all I've done is I've stuck those to my face with a bit of latex. I haven't put glue where my eyebrow is, um, I haven't put latex where my eyebrow is there what I've done is I've actually put a bit of scar wax there just to smooth it down a bit um, but the rest of it's latexed on and I've stuck the bottom ones on with latex as well um, and obviously I've just painted my face and neck in white face paint and then all I'm doing now is I'm applying scar wax across where the join is between the um, makeshift ball cap and my head and looking at my reference picture Twisty's got um, like a large cut that goes right across his head down to about down to about there actually so I'm just going to put some more scar wax on I'm not going to go too far down because um, obviously I haven't got anything to cover my hair properly so I don't want to get too much scar wax in my hair because obviously I've got more so yeah so I've gone all the way across with the scar wax and then I'm just going to create this wound going right across my head I'm just going to lift it up I've actually not that I'm just lifting it up because it looks like it's like a, it's like a flap of skin over the top on the picture so I'm just going to peel all that up and then this is all going to be covered in latex after so it'll stay um, if you were going on a night out dressed as twisty anywhere where you've got scar wax is going to melt off I'm actually finding it's melting off a little bit while I'm putting it on because I'm in a warm room so you have to put a layer of latex over the top so I'm just going to use this to get the shape oops to get the shape that I want let's put I'll put the some cream makeup on instead it's a bit darker you could use a black dark black eyeshadow you can use um, black cream makeup, face paint, whatever, just to go under this skin flap it'll make it look a bit deeper okay it's just going to add depth to it and it'll make the uh, fake blood I use look darker Okay. and I'm also going to use a black I'm just using my bruise wheel uh, but you can use like I said black cream makeup eyeshadow or face paints and I'm going to go into the little cuts there I know Twisted the Clown hasn't got these but I wanted to do my own sort of take on it And I'm just going to bring the black just down a bit more, just past where the cuts are. I'm having trouble doing this here, hold on. I'm trying to do it while looking in the um, 
camera, but that doesn't help. I've just got a bit of that on the, uh, smudged it a bit. Okay, so they're going to be like deep cuts through. Um, then it looks like basically he's just very bloody and messy and got quite dark eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fluffy fluffy eyeshadow brush, some black eyeshadow, I'm just going to darken out around my eyes and you don't have to do this neat or anything because it's not neat on twisty and some pictures I've seen it looks like he's got like red on the waterline um, so I've just left a bit a gap with the face paint like I've left the gap where the face paint is so it looks like I've got like a red waterline a bit because I, I can't wear eyeliner because I, I have swollen eyes in the morning if I do so I don't wear it there's something in it my eyes don't like it looks on some pictures it looks a bit neater around the middle but I'm going to do it like the one I've got on my photo. On the photo I've got, it's a bit messier. So I'm just going to smudge all that out. So now I'm just using my brush. and just swirling it around the edges just to smudge out that area. And then I'll go back in with a bit more eyeshadow so I can make the centre bit a bit darker again you could if you haven't got black eyeshadow you could do it with face paint all you'd have to do is just put a very small amount of face paint on and smudge it out any little edges that look like they're not smudged out enough just I'm going to smudge them with my finger and he does have eyebrows in the uh, picture like I said I've just done my own version so it looks like I've got a cut going through uh, what else? now obviously bearing in mind I'll get the mask the mask is going to cover like the bottom half of my face so I'm not too worried about that so what I'm going to do is just mark out very lightly where the mask comes and then I'm not going to worry about face painting where the mask's not going to be where, where the mask's I'm going to cover it up okay so that tells me anything in this space I ain't got to worry about because I've got the mask for that so I'm going to add some black eyeshadow I'm going to sort of add it here and there and blend it and make him look messy Because he's on the picture I've got, he looks streaky, it looks a bit dark. Uh, there's a bit of a shadow around his nose. And that a bit like that, a bit of 
ever reach to the brow that area there. So I'm just adding a bit of black and then just smudging that around. Uh, add a bit going in at the temples. Just a little bit. It doesn't look particularly sunken in on the picture I can see. And Make sure I'm going to bring some of the black down on this. And bit. then, now I've found a palette. I'm going to take a brownie. It's quite a quite a brownie red, and I'm going to use that to go over. This area make it look a bit more sore, a bit more red. Oh, I've got to blend in where these cuts are on my eyes. I'm just going to dab a bit of red brown eyeshadow over them. Like so. Just to break up the white. make it look a bit sore. And then I'm just going to take a bit of the white face paint just to go over any bits where I think it's a bit too much. Need another fluffy brush. <whistles> Taking some more reddish brown eyeshadow just at the very edges where the wound is. So like right in the middle. I'm actually going to pat a bit of uh, red cream makeup on because it's going to stick a bit better.
Okay, so I've added the fake blood and I've added the fake blood in the slits by the eyes. And then if you've made your mask like me, it'll be like this, which is just, I think it's about three or four layers of latex. And you can, it's going to look like that. And you can either put on, Twisty's actually got it where it's like black thread holding it on. Um, or you can just glue it on. Um, I'm just going to get some thread from somewhere. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.